Greetings, people of YouTube. This is Dagos Zeta. Zeta as in, I don't know, just sounds cool. And that's actually the Zeta, Dag Dagos Zeta comes from, I had that in my Xbox Live name, Dag Zeta. And I still wanted to make it Dagos though, so I don't know why I didn't make my, my online thing, Dagos. There, I think I just um, upgraded a few things. I don't and sold a few things. There's so nothing major there, but oh well. Now, do you remember that difficulty spike I mentioned a few videos ago? Yeah, it was just for chapter 4 1. That's all I'm saying, because this chapter is not really that hard compared to the one we just had to go through. There's only about one thing in this chapter that would actually merit healing for. And that is, uh, so it's, I guess you might call it a boss fight. It's not hard, but that shall be next video. Epic boss fight. That's not really that epic at all, but. Here, don't forget there's an item in this minecart back here, so do not miss it. Now here, we're just venturing into the mines. This is where, if you've been reading any of the documents and stuff that you've, or files you've been pick, that you should have been picking up. Well, you don't have to pick them up, but I've been doing that. I only missed like one so far. And I was like in the village somewhere. It's probably something stupid anyway. But um, with these, the Ganados, these people, see if you see we're fighting the standard enemy again. They were, they're infected because they've been mining the Plagas. Because the Plagas are like extinct and they're resurrecting them. Not extinct, they're like fossilized and they're resurrecting them. But what what's happening is um they have been inhaling the spores of the Plagas they've been mining. And after inhaling it, they become infected with it. Not very convenient. Now originally I didn't plan on killing these people. But I figured they were all in my way, so I'm gonna kill them. Plus, I'm gonna need some space to grab items later. Now, a lot of these guys seem to be carrying dynamite, too. And that was kind of a conveniently placed one. And then the only time I heal in here is because I accidentally. Because some guy happened to blow up dynamite right next to me. Like, I killed him and then he blew up. He, he doesn't grow up in his head right yet. Alright, and remember, don't do what I did here, because, well, not not this, but I want to collect all the stuff before I start pulling levers and stuff. There's, um, uh, bleh. Basically, we have to, the minecart we walked by on our way in. Yeah, the minecart we walked by on the way into this area, we have to get that down here, because it has something we need. First, definitely, I would kill those guys ahead of time, because uh, you might want to get out of here. Because I don't, I don't know. If be in a hurry. We're gonna need that strip breaker in a second, but first we have to get the minecart to start coming down to us. And, yeah, my computer been pretty slow today. I, yeah, the video lagged a little bit. Yeah, it did there. I don't know if you'll see it, but I saw it. There's a velvet blue in that, that thing. So you pull this thing here and it brings down the minecart. But now. Your, after you trip the circuit breaker, because that's what you to make it, and then run all the way back to the lever and the lever again. After that, and like more people starting out, including our good friend Dr. Salvador, the man with the chainsaw. If you didn't know who was called that, yeah, that was that was the guy who hurt me. But it's an excuse to use, uh, I think, no, uh, I thought I had a red, yellow green herb, but not. yeah, Dr. Salvador is the man with the chainsaw, and there's mercenaries mode there is a version of him who has a double chainsaw for some reason that makes him incredibly fast and agile and you know, almost everything that's him not immune but he doesn't flinch that's what I'm saying there is our good friend Salvador there now I'm 99% sure he's not a real doctor the, the what I usually do here is I knock him down and pull that but then I go back to where the minecart is to like build myself up a corner so there's less here for them to to come at me from, and then just kind of blast everything with my shotgun. No, I usually I don't even let them walk in though. Usually I usually kind of stand here. I might I think I throw a hand grenade at them. 
Because I have, yeah, I have a hand grenade to waste, so I do so. I killed, I think, everyone but Dr. Salvador, yeah. I, mean, I don't think he even got hit. Got it. Using your pistol can be fine against him if you're hitting him in the head. But don't overdo it. Like, when he gets really close to you, then you can switch to your shotgun. Because he will decapitate you if you don't... If you're not careful, like, yeah, if he starts getting around that close, then pull out your shotgun. He is friggin' vicious. And they make, like, madman noises when they're cutting your head off. So there's some insanity there. Now, if one of the dynamites for is to get rid of this giant rock, and I'm pretty sure the, ex the explosion of the dynamite, I'm almost positive it can hurt you. The... Though I'm not sure how much. So, don't. Maybe go ahead and see for yourself, but I'm not going to. It's more Magnum ammo, so we need we need Magnum ammo. Well, actually, because I was just recording Chapter 4 2, I mean, not 4 3, like earlier today, I was getting pretty lucky because I picked up at least 9 Magnum shots from random enemies. Maybe not 9, but okay. Now, this is where our little boss fight's gonna be. Hope you guys are psyched for it. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.